Yeah, I, I think uh, Nick Negroponte managed to shift our mindsets that um, laptops can be fun, can be used by children. It doesn't have to be complicated and one should not see it as something done only for business people mm. or for researchers. And in fact, at the time when he announced a $100 laptop, many of the governments were saying we will do it at 200 250 And so it was quite a, a revolution. And it did open the uh, eyes of people and also reinforce the possibilities that schools and educational institutions can have for computers. We've done a lot, but we can do more. Um, I see it on my continent, what computers have done for development, whether in areas of agriculture or giving information to fishermen for them to know that the weather would, would be bad. In the Lake Victoria area, for example, about 5,000 fishermen lost their lives because they would take out to fish without knowing the weather. Now you can share information. Farmers are using it to share uh, information on prices, on production. And young people are using it to exchange information and for their studies. And in fact, when you look at uh, uh, electronic education, lots of, lots of students and young people who would not have access to University of Education now can join in through online teaching. Basically, I want to engage young people. I want to find out what's on their mind, what their concerns are, and I want to share some of my experience with them. We, in my generation, or at the leadership level, claim we do a lot for the young, but we never consult them. Mm. We never know. It's, it's quite remarkable, actually, when, uh, if you think about it. If you need a legal opinion, you go to a lawyer. If you need uh, an accountant, you get one. But when we are talking about youth, we don't talk to them. And really, this is to give them the chance uh, to speak up, to share their ideas, to take uh, responsibility and begin to lead. You know, and I keep reminding them that you don't have to be old to lead. This is their world. They are going to inherit the future and they should begin getting engaged and taking responsibility now. And so I hope this dialogue will not only encourage them to exchange ideas, but also put forward the concerns as they see them and what changes they think we can bring about. We'll be discussing uh, youth and leadership. And I think that's an important uh, topic for them. Later on, we'll tackle other issues, uh, whether it's elec elections or environmental degradation. So it will be a series. I, I think we've made quite a lot of progress, but there are regions where we need to do more, where some of the young people are not uh, connected. And they are often the most vulnerable and the most exposed. I mean, another project that I've been quite involved in is the elimination of polio. Mm. And when you talk of vaccination of all children, the children who are left out are the ones who are on the margins, mm. where there is no information, where there is no connectivity. And in, and in fact, Bill Gates, uh, found, uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are also quite engaged in this. So with the new uh, approach and the new effort to end polio, we are using a technology, mapping GPS systems to map, to find out where these people are and how one can uh, reach them. So there are all sorts of creative ways that one is using to reach them, but I think we can uh, do more and we should continue pressing ahead. That, that will really uh, help and ma ma make a difference. I mean, when on my own continent, it's been amazing how uh, people have embraced this new technology. In almost every village, you see them. Even though they don't have uh, electricity, they, <coughs> they find some means of charging them. It's quite remarkable. I think today we, we live in an interconnected world. And what happens in one country has an impact on others. And we should really be aware of what's happening around us beyond our own community and beyond our own countries. 
And the young people today are, I think, much better connected than any generation before them. And I keep telling them that, yes, they need to take action. They need to take action locally, but they should think globally because of the interconnectedness and the impact of one action, one's action on, on, on others. Uh, and uh, I am pleased to say that the young people I know have embraced this uh, approach in an unimaginable way. And I travel around and they share with me similar information, similar reactions to situations. And some are incredibly aware. They have lots of information, but need, we need to work with them to have the judgment and the maturity to use that information effectively. When we meet in 10 years' time to look at the BSIS mm -hmm. 20 years on, you will have some exciting things to share with me. I hope so too. <laughs>